Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from computergargar.com. This tutorial will look at removing blank rows from an Excel spreadsheet. Now this current list of orders, as I scroll down, you can see that there are already two blank rows. I have one there in row 43 and another there in row 60. It's not that big a list this, when it goes down to row 72, but imagine you've got a huge list, uh, very common for it to come from from importing from a database it's a very large list and within there there are some blank rows so very common when uh, maybe receiving from a client or from importing from some other system or database that you get these blank rows and you need an easy and effective method of removing them. this video is going to look at two easy to use features that you may have some experience with using before that are very popular and easy ways of removing these blank rows uh, beginning with the go to special feature so what we're going to do is I'm going to select column B and I'm selecting column B because that is invoice number so I'm specifically targeting uh, a unique ID for each of these records each of these rows uh, there should never be a blank cell in invoice so that will identify the whole row in that case even though technically I'm only identifying an individual cell using this technique. I'm going to go to the home tab, the find and select button on the far right of that tab and go to special. To open up the go to special dialog box, if you've not used this feature before it's absolutely awesome. What we'll find and select um, some extra special Excel features really. You can see some of them listed here. Uh, I'm going to choose blanks for this example. I am looking for a blank cell I'm going to click on OK, that will select all the blank cells in that column. So as I scroll down, I can see it's got B43. And if I use this arrow, I can scroll down further. It's got B60, but it does not select anything past 72. Excel realises that is the end of your list, and it will not select them. So it has found the two blank rows, really. Well, technically, it's just that one cell. By using that unique ID in column B, I know that I can now... Go to the arrow next to my delete button and choose delete sheet rows. So it will delete the entire row for them cells are selected. Pressing that, then rows are gone. I can see 43 will have something inside it now. And so will 60. And I can see they're still selected them rows. Uh, so just clicking anywhere will deselect them. But I'm just going to actually undo that last step. To bring my empties back and I'll just click somewhere to deselect what the go to special has done so that we can now look at another way of doing that and the second way I'm going to delete them empty rows is to use the, the normal filter tool now my filter is not turned on at the moment so I need to get that done I'm just going to click on the cell in the ID column or the invoice column column B I'm going to go to the data tab and I'm going to click my filter button a shortcut way of turning the filter on however if I click this now, I'll see I'll get my filter arrows, but the arrow for the invoice column does not mention blanks within it. Which anyone who's used this feature before will know it should do. It should recognise them blanks and enable me to filter by a blank. It's not recognising them because I didn't select the whole data, I only selected one cell. Uh, which is part of the reason we're getting rid of these empty rows. They make using Excel a bit more difficult. I mean, we can't use some of their little shortcuts, some of their little tricks. Uh, it's annoying. So I'm going to take out that filter. I'll have to select the whole range. I'm going to go from A1. and use my control and shift keys and try and uh, get this done nice and quick. Down, 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 down one more. And I've got my range. I've selected the whole range, however you choose to do that. Data tab, filter. Arrows are in, this time arrow for the invoice, as I scroll to the bottom, would I like to filter by blanks? Oh yes I would. So I'm going to shoot back to the top, deselect them, back to the bottom, only show me the blanks. OK, it filters everything out, if I scroll up, I can see rows 43 and 60 are identified. They're highlighted in blue, so I know there's no need to delete row 73. That's outside of my list. I just need to delete them too. So now I can select 43 and 60. 
home tab, arrow next to delete, or I could just press delete actually because I've selected the whole row. The delete sheet rows, let's play the game. And they are gone. As a second way of removing them there. So two fantastic ways, let's bring that filter back off. Two fantastic ways of removing blank rows from your data. Um, you know, features that you may have touched on before, go to and filter, showing them in a different light and what they can do for you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergargard.com.